Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Next TV Live TV player, which is a popular live TV player that you can install on Fire TV and Android TV devices where you can pair your live TV service for an improved user interface. Now, live TV players are becoming extremely popular. And guys, before I dive in and show you how to install the Next TV Live TV player, I first want to note that this application is available inside the Google Play Store. You'll see them on the installation page here. It has over 100,000 downloads and almost 1,000 reviews. And because Next TV is available inside Google Play, we know that this application is 100% legal and verified to install on our devices. So now, guys, I'm going to hop over to my Amazon Fire Stick and let's install the Next TV Live TV player. All right, guys, so I just plugged in my second generation Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but guys, this tutorial will work on any Fire TV or Android TV device that's compatible with Next TV Live TV Player. So the very first step that we need to do is because Next TV is not available inside the Amazon App Store, we must sideload this third-party Live TV Player on our device. Now, to do that, what you need to do is hover over Find, click Search, and I'm going to type in downloaders. We will be using the downloader app to install the Next TV Live TV player. So you should see downloader populate down here. I'm going to click downloader and you should see an orange icon for downloader under apps and games. I'm going to click that. Now, if you already have downloader installed on your device, guys, you can simply skip ahead to the later part of this video. But many of you probably do not have downloader installed. So I just wanna make sure I'm doing this process step by step. So here is Downloader right here. I'm going to click Download. And then just give it a few seconds while Downloader is installing on your Fire Stick. All right, now after the Downloader app has installed, before launching or opening this app, there are a few settings that I need to change. So I'm going to click the Home button on my remote, and I'm going to scroll over and hover over the Settings icon. I'm going to scroll down and click My Fire TV. Once you do that, I'm going to click about, and then you should see an option here that says Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever version of the Fire Stick or Fire TV device you are using. And you wanna click this about seven times until you see the message below. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button, click developer options, click install unknown apps, and you should see downloader here. I'm going to click the OK button on my remote. So I've now turned on the ability for downloader to install unknown applications. So once I have done that, I'm going to click the home button on my remote. And now I'm going to scroll down and you should see downloader under recently used apps. I'm going to click that to launch it. So then click allow, click OK when you see the quick start guide and you have now installed the downloader app. So after installing the downloader app from the home option here, simply click the search box and I'm going to enter the following code, 298344, double check that for accuracy and then click go. And then you're just gonna have to wait a few seconds while downloader is redirecting you to the IPTV wire quick links page. All right, once you're on the IPTV Wire Quick Links page, the first thing I would suggest you guys do is number one, I'd X out any message here that pops up on the bottom. But one other thing I'd do is I'd come up here on the top right, you'll see this button here with the three lines that I'm highlighted now. So I would click that. And then if you scroll down, there's an option that says add current page to favorites. I would click that, click save. And now our Quick Links page is saved to your favorites inside Downloader. So now to install the Next TV Live TV player, simply scroll down and under players, you should see an option here. It's right here, Next TV player. So I'm going to click Next TV player to launch the installation. And just give it a few seconds here and Next TV will start to download. And then you'll get this screen here that says cancel or install. Make sure you click install. And now Next TV is installing on my Fire Stick. All right, so now that's been installed, I'm going to click done. And then what I wanna do is delete the installation file. So I'm gonna click delete, click delete again. 
And now I'm going to click the home button on my remote and go back to the home screen of my Fire Stick. And I want to drag or organize the next TV live TV player towards the front of my apps list. I'm going to scroll over and click this icon here next to the settings button. So I'm going to click that. And this will launch your apps and channels. So I'm going to scroll down and find Next TV, and here it is. So I'm going to click the Options button on my remote, click Move, and I'm going to move this towards the front of my apps and channels list. I'm going to click OK on my remote to drop it. Click the Home button again, and here is the Next TV Live TV player towards the front of my apps on my Fire Stick. So guys, before I launch the Next TV Live TV player, I first want to ensure that I am connected to a reliable VPN. I do not trust any third-party applications or the developers behind them, guys, and I want to protect myself online on my Fire Stick through a VPN like Surfshark. Surfshark is my number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. Guys, I do have a special discount link for Surfshark that you can find below this video that will get you the best discount. And that does help support myself and this channel. So after I'm connected to Surfshark, let's go ahead and launch the next TV live TV player. And here you might get an option that says software system update. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to click later. You can update if you want, but I'm going to click later. And here is the main interface of the Next TV Live TV player. You'll see it says no playlist has been found. And that makes sense because I haven't added any playlists yet. So I'm not going to add any playlists in this video. But if you were to do that, you would click this plus button up here in the top right click add a playlist and you'll see the different options here. So you can scan a QR code, you can do the advanced setup with extreme or also this one stream login method as well. So that is how you would add your live TV service credentials to next TV. So if I scroll back, I'm going to click the settings icon here and just show you a few settings that you can do. So you would need a next TV account in order to use this. It looks like there's a next TV plus option. Um, I'm not familiar with that guys, but here's a sign in option for a next TV account. So there's some settings here for playlists, refreshing playlists, adding a playlist that has history. Uh, there's some options here for the user interface. You can change that or adjust it to whoever you want. There's some player options. So you can adjust your video player, uh, DNS, user agent, and there's all sorts of other settings that you can adjust within the Next TV live TV player. But that's it, guys. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video. Also, be sure to leave me a comment below. I do enjoy going through all of your comments. And guys, I hope you all have a great day.